Noisy Pixel. <laughs> With so many video games being released, it's safe to say that at this point, my backlog will be forever endless. One game that has kept my eye is the CalCat developer roguelite Xenon Valkyrie Plus. Thankfully, the game launched on Nintendo Switch, which for some reason means it's jumped to the top of my list as a game that I can no longer set aside. This is Noisy Pixel's review for Xenon Valkyrie Plus on Nintendo Switch. Xenon Valkyrie Plus does have a story, but all the players really need to know is that they must make their way to the depths of the moon in order to stop a witch. However, Xenon Valkyrie Plus will make that simple premise as difficult as possible and throw everything they can at you in order to make sure that that doesn't happen. Xenon Valkyrie Plus has three playable characters who each have a unique skill that will most likely satisfy any player's playstyle. While in the dungeons, players will need to make their way down to the exit portal and face countless enemy types that are trying to stop them from doing so. These enemies are ruthless. They come from all over to rush you, shoot you, and some even kamikaze their way into you just to make sure that you die. And trust me, you will die. Xenon Valkyrie Plus breaks you down after every attempt and pushes your skills to the limits. Nothing is free in the game, not even the checkpoints. Everything from experience to weapons need to be fought for, and the unforgiving nature of the enemies don't ever seem to make that easy. These game mechanics make the game extremely inaccessible to players who might not understand the genre or are too used to be handed a lot for very little effort. Maps are procedurally generated and yes, these also get difficult as the game goes on. And although new weapons and items can be purchased, they are only purchased to unlock a chance to get them in a random chest found in a map. Make no mistake. Xenon Valkyrie Plus is extremely frustrating, but after the 30th attempt facing the first boss, the satisfaction of beating it is so sweet. I don't think the game will make new fans of the genre, if anything, it'll make them never want to play another like it. But there's something about the game's subpar level design, chiptune soundtrack, and fast gameplay that kept me coming back for more time and time again. The Switch is a great home for Xenon Valkyrie Plus and I'm glad that I finally had the chance to play it. Noisy Pixel is giving Xenon Valkyrie Plus on Nintendo Switch a 7.5 out of 10. Noisy Pixel is ran by a group of gamers who work hard to deliver news, reviews, previews, and more. Please subscribe to keep up with all our future content, and maybe check out the website at noisypixel.net.